Organizer and Earth are both working effectively, it is likely that the fault is in your fence line. To assist in this step, it is important to know your fence and be familiar with the voltage and current on your fence line when it's performing effectively. This will vary between properties and across properties. To check for faults on your fence line, you need to use amps on the fault finder, not volts. To find a fault on your fence, you need to follow the flow of the electricity called current, which is measured in amps. Normally, the bigger the amps reading, the worse the fault, but this must be kept in context with the length of the fence and what is normal for your fence. A rule of thumb is about 2.5 amps per kilometre of fence. However, normal can be much higher or lower than this depending on soil type, number of wires and vegetation load. To start the process, choose a point on the fence close to the energizer and using your fault finder, take an amp reading. If it is a multi-wire fence, ensure you check each of the wires. Follow the direction of the arrow on your fault finder to follow the current of your fence. Walk the fence line checking at regular intervals, say every 100 metres and at every junction point. When the current load drops off, you have passed the fault. Some faults will be obvious and others such as a broken insulator are less obvious. To find the less obvious faults, you'll need to walk the fence line at short intervals to find where the current drops off to identify the fault. When the fault is found, turn the power off. How this is done depends on the electric fence system on your farm. You can go back to the energizer and turn it off, go to a cutout switch nearby and turn that off, or for those with an i-series energizer and remote, you can use the remote to turn the fence off on the spot. Once the fence is turned off, you can repair the fault. When the repair is complete, the power can be turned back on via the energizer, the cutout switch, or by using the remote. Test the fence and see if the voltage has returned to what is normal on your property for effective performance. If it has not returned to normal voltage, continue following the current to find further faults. <laughs>